a PM campus, right? <laughs> uh, I think India have a um, more uh, good education, better than Nepal. Okay. So uh, I went there. Okay, why don't you go back to India for your university studies? Um, why don't you go to yeah. India for your university studies? Uh, I wanna, uh, I wanna go abroad to uh, explore a new thing. So <laughs> that's okay. Better. All right. Well, there's many countries. Why do you choose the U.S.? Uh, because uh, U.S. have a very uh, uh, knowledgeable uh, education in U.S. I <laughs> I learn from Google and my friends. So. Okay, okay. And uh, what degree are you hoping to pursue? Um, bachelor. In yes. which subject? In arts. Arts. Yes. Okay. Sir. And what is your dream? My dream is uh, to be a businessman. I did also a hotel management course in diploma. Yes. So I want to do a. Uh, I want to business. Uh, uh, I want to run a business in restaurant. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, and so uh, so you feel that you need to go to the U.S. to, to prepare yourself to, to have a restaurant. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. And um, and so tell me uh, about your uh, GPA. Uh, my GPA is uh, sixty one percent. I did in India. We have a percentage okay. in sixty-one. Yes. Sixty out of sixty-one out of a hundred. Yes. Yeah, okay. And um, and so um, and then what was your, uh, your IELTS or Duolingo score? Yeah, it's ninety. Ninety. Yes. Okay, and uh, and then what? Uh, uh, um, tell me about the university where you're, you want to study. Uh, I talk with the Suresa. Yes. Uh, he he recommend me the Trey Trey University. Troy University. Yes, which is uh, I I want to go there. And yeah. what do you know about Troy University? I just learned yesterday. <laughs> so I didn't learn more about, but I I want. Right. Yeah. That's fine. And uh, and so uh, which state in America is Troy University? Do you know? No. Okay. I will okay. learn. Find out. Okay. Okay, and then uh, so you want to study um, uh, business management, or which study do you hope? To uh, arts in arts. Arts. Okay. Yes. And uh, just a general degree in yes, arts. Yes, uh, okay. general degree. Okay. And uh, you want to start a restaurant. Okay. Um, that, um, and how are you going to pay for your education going on? Yeah. Uh, my uh, my uncle is in U.S. He will do, and also my mom dad did manage all this. My sponsor will be my mom dad, and also my uncle is in U.S. Okay. Yeah. Where does your uncle live in the U.S.? Uh, maybe Chicago. Chicago. Oh, Chicago okay. I think. And who is there with your uncle? It's all family. It's all yes. Family. Do you do you want to study in Chicago or in another place? <laughs> yeah, that what I. Do you go to stay with your uncle? Uh, I think I will. Will you work while you're in the U.S.? Yes. And um, and then after you're finished uh, your studies, yes, will you sir. work in the U.S. Uh, after you complete your studies? I will come back here, and because my mom dad is here, so I want a business. I want to do business here. Okay. So, uh, okay. All right. And um, uh, what do you think will be the hardest thing for you in doing your studies in America? Um, I think. What difficulties will you face? I think I don't think I face it difficult because I already uh, I stay very, I stay away from my family. Uh, in India, so uh, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that because you've been away from it. Yes, I've been. How many years did you study in India? Uh, twelve year old. Twelve years. Yeah, twelve year old. Yes, and I stay in hostel. 
Yes. Yeah, so. okay, that's a long time. Yes. In which city? In Himachal. Himachal. Yes, Himachal Pradesh. In which, and that's a, uh, that's in Kulu Valley or in Manali or? No, Himachal in Solen. Solen. So. Yes. So. And, um, and so very good. And tell me about your family. Family, uh, I have. Uh, I belong. I have five family members: my mom, dad, and my um, two sister, uh, elder sister, and one younger sister. I'm the middle. Yes. Okay. What's your elder sister doing? She uh, she is married. Mm -hmm. She is with her family. She is doing a nursing. Are you yeah. married? No, <laughs> I'm single. And your younger sister? She is working in Kathmandu. And, um, and what um, what uh, made you interested in doing starting a restaurant business? Uh, because I did a diploma course in hotel management. I did in kitchen department. And right now I am uh, working as a waitress. And so I am very interested in so. What's your GPA in the in the this in this school? In the school? Yeah, in, in, yeah. Sixty one. And in the diploma course you're doing diploma? Have, yeah. Uh, it uh, doesn't it have doesn't it. have a okay. GPA. All right. And um, and how how many uh, months have you been doing your this diploma course? Uh, one year uh, course and six month training. Okay. And have you completed it? Yes, I completed. All yes, of it? Yes, uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. And so um, you're still working as a waitress? Waitress, okay. yes. Where are you working as a waitress? Uh, I am working uh, in Alfonso Resort. It is in Palme Lakeside. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and so that gave you interest then in yes. your own restaurant. <laughs> and um, uh, did, um, what does your father do for a living? Uh, my father and my mom is doing agriculture. In Mustang, I am from Mustang. Yes. In which city? In Marfa or? It's a Domsom. Domsom. <coughs> it's a Domsom. And um, and uh, how long has your uncle been living in Chicago? Uh, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Many years ago, I. Right. Uh, and do you have any other family members apart yeah. from your uncle and his family? Yes. Uh, other other uncle also there living there. In Chicago. True. Yes, Chicago. I think. Yeah. Really. Okay. Well, you've answered the questions nicely for the first practice, and so yes. let's go over some of the questions. Okay, sir. First of all, that uh, you're very confident, so that's important. So yes. your interviewer will check your confidence level to make sure that you feel sure that you're going to do this. And yes, so, sir. Then number two, they're going to check your honesty. And so they want to, they train to see if you're telling the truth or you're telling a lie. They yes. can tell very quickly by your eyes and face. Yes, sir. And, uh, and so you must always tell the truth when yeah. you're speaking to the interviewer or immediately he'll cross it. Yes. And so you must always tell the truth. Yeah. And then um, uh, and then number three is that um, questions need to be prepared well so that okay. you don't stumble uh, when you're giving the answer on it. Okay, okay so sir. that's your uh, what's this this practice is for. Okay, sir. And so let's look at some concerns that the US government has currently. Number one, because of the large number of immigrants and, and students that many Americans who have lived in the US for years, born in the US, mm -hmm. they lose their jobs because of people coming into the country and working for a lower wage. And so uh, the company decides that, that uh, uh, we're not going to pay big wages to the, the, these people any longer. We're going to pay a low wage to the people that are coming into the country yes, and uh, to save money and to make a bigger profit. So many companies are doing that. Many Americans lost their jobs. So they cried out to the government officials, yeah. something has to stop. You have to stop the students from working in the U.S. and have to stop the students from uh, moving into the U.S. and, and uh, and so there's the, the U.S. became more strict now about working in the U.S. And so they have a general rule: you cannot work while you're doing your studies. You can only do your studies while you're living in the U.S. 
in uh, Canada, Australia, Japan, other countries, you can work and do studies at the same time, yes. but not the U.S. And so you have to make a decision. If you want to work, uh, other than, again, you have your training in the, in the college with your department and some internship they may give to you, they'll give you some, some wages for that. But a regular job, part-time job, you cannot take it in America. And uh, it's illegal. And mm -hmm. if they catch you doing it, you'll, they'll take your visa away. And you'll, you'll not be able to stay in the U.S. And so when you come to the U.S., you must only focus on your studies. Only focus on your studies. They're very concerned about that. You want to make sure. So if they ask you, are you going to work in the U.S.? And you say, yes, I am. You're a <laughs> Okay. And so that... Uh, and so you, you have to have a, you have to have enough money that you can focus only on your studies and you're getting good marks and a good degree and good skills so that you can bring those back to Nepal. Yes. Now that's the U.S.'s concern. They don't want you staying after you you um, complete your studies either. They want you to come back to your home country and help yes. develop your home country. Yes. And uh, and so so you have to have a plan. That yes, I'm going to focus on my studies. My parents are sending me to America. They have the finances to be able to do that, and uh, and they're going to send me to America. And I'm not going to work. And I'm going to complete my degree, and then uh, I'm coming back to India. And I'm going to set up a nice business with my family here. Yes. And so, so that you have to have that plan very clear and honest in your mind. Doesn't mean you can't. Come back to the U.S. in the future, yeah. and so. But what it means is immediately now, no work in the U.S. Immediately now, when you complete your degree, you have to come back to Nepal okay. with some plan, and that doesn't mean you can't apply afterwards. Yes. And so and so, but now you have to and honestly be able to speak that confidently and honestly. Okay. They ask you, are you going to work in the U.S.? You, you I, say, I no, no, sir. I'm going to focus on my studies. My parents are sending me to to. And to focus on my studies so I can make good marks, get a good degree, learn good skills so that I can come back to Nepal and develop a good business here and with my family. Yes, and, uh, and so that's my plan, sir. Yeah, my plan now. Yeah. And so that, uh, that must be very clear. And again, what I'm saying is that it doesn't uh, mean that you can't come back. To, if you complete your studies in the U.S., yeah. it's almost like a... Uh, a visa again to be able to return to the U.S. in the future. Yeah. And so, if you if you don't break the laws, if you uh, do do everything within a certain amount of time that you're doing your studies, and, and then uh, you complete your studies in the U.S. and and then almost any time you apply for a visa to come back for a tourist visa, or you get uh, get a contract with a company in the U.S. or your uncle invites you to come for a visit or whatever, yeah. uh, then you can most likely get the visa again. Because you've already shown, proven yourself to be able to to obey the laws in the yeah. U.S. And, uh, and complete your studies in, in the U.S. So then they'll trust you for the future. Yes. So what was happening too? A lot of people would would get uh, education visas, come to the U.S., immediately move in with some relatives yes. in the U.S. and and look for jobs and yeah. and, uh, and so but. Now the U.S. is strict. They check every semester to make sure you're still doing your studies. Totally and, right, uh, yeah. and so um, so if they found out you've left the, the college, <laughs> immediately they cross your visa and they search you and search for you until they find you to deport you out of the U.S. So, so, um, so, that's, uh, so you want to focus on your studies. And then you want to downplay uh, your relatives in the U.S. I have some uncles and their families in Chicago. But I'm studying, at, I'm planning to study at Troy University in Alabama, far away from them. Yeah. I do hope to visit them during the vacation times, but I will not, I cannot live with them. I will be living at, at my university and completing my degree and then returning back to Nepal to start a business with my family here. Yes, sir. Yeah. And so you have to have a clear cut plan. Yes, I will visit my, uh, my I do plan to visit my uncles during the vacation periods and uh, uh, but then I'll come back to my studies at, at uh, Troy University because I want to complete my degree and uh, be able to come back to Nepal and start a business with my family here. My yeah. parents here. And, uh, so that's uh, so those things are very clear. A lot of times that so they're very uh, clear when immediately you say you have family in the U.S. that the, the, the officer <laughs> becomes alert. And so 
And so you have to make it very clear. I'm not going to live with them. I'm going to complete, complete my degree. I may visit them during the vacation times, but I'm going to focus on my studies, complete my degree in the U.S., and return back to Nepal to um, develop a business with my family. And that's my plan. And so those things are very clear. I hope you can understand what yes, I'm saying. <laughs> the, the U.S. is it's like they're alert about it because so many, uh, so many students come in and they jump the visa. They they don't do their studies. They go to a relative's house. They start working. Take someone's job from the mm, U.S. Mm. for a lower wage, and uh, and people are upset about it. And yeah. so, anyway, <laughs> so they become strict about that. Okay. And so the officer that's going to interview will be listening carefully. Uh, to how you answer the questions about are you working, are you going to stay back in the, in the U.S., are you, do you have relatives in the U.S., so those points you need to make very clear uh, what your plan is, and so and you be, need to be honest with it. Okay, so. If you do that, you'll get the visa. If you don't do that, you won't get the visa, and so so that's, we'll get you ready for it, but you need to, uh, like, you're very confident, no problem, and uh, and so I trust you're very honest. You just told me very clearly, yes, I'll work. And <laughs> so, but not knowing the situation. Yeah. And so you know, I think you're very honest. So that's, uh, but now you need to develop a new plan. But focus on my studies. Okay. If you want to study, if you want to study in Canada, no problem. You can work there in Canada. If you want to study in Australia, you can work there in Australia, but yes. not in the U.S. And uh, because they're very concerned about uh, people taking the, uh, the jobs that people are already uh, yeah. living with. So that's uh, the situation. Any questions that you have? No, I am clear about whatever you said. Okay. okay thank very you. Very good. Very good. All right. So this is the first practice. And uh, Virginia or Bob, which one would like to do the, the, the visa interview with Roma now? Can we do another one? Yes. You have time, don't you? This is practicing. Yes, you have time I'm for another practice? No. You don't I have, have, I have a work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to... okay. Okay. No Sorry. <laughs> okay. We so can this, meet... is, this is, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce you. This okay. is Bob Hello. And, and his wife, Virginia, Hello. from nice California. To meet you. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we can meet another time. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. So, it's good to meet you. And do you stay at Lakeside or do you stay? I stay in Ranipur. Ranipur. I work in Lakeside. Lakeside. Okay. Okay. So. Great. Well, that's wonderful. It's really nice to meet you, and we'll get you ready. So, but you yeah. need to uh, be aware of those things. And, yes, sir. And so your confidence is there. Your studies were good in in, in India. Yes, you sir. Scored good on Duolingo, and uh, and so if you answer the questions confidently and uh, honestly and, and correctly, then yes, then sir. It should be no problem with getting. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. Uh, that. Uh, um, let's see, let's see. So good, yeah, Suresh will go over everything with Toy University. Yes, and so the good thing is that it's far away from Chicago. Alabama yeah. and Chicago are far yeah. apart. And, and so that lessens the likelihood in the mind that oh, she can't stay with her uncle yeah. as easily, that she has to do her studies there. Yeah. Okay, so that's one, one good thing uh, uh, about Troy. Yeah. Another one is that they're accepting uh, uh, Nepali students very nicely right now, Troy is. Yeah. And another thing is the U.S. is accepting students right now very nice. There's 7,000 new slots just opened between now and June for uh, visa interviews. So yeah. I think that uh, uh, everything's in favor for you to study in the U.S., but you yeah. need to answer the questions correctly. Yes, sir. Okay? We'll okay. train you for that. Okay, sir. Have a great day. Yeah. Same to you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye.